How to write a research methodology. What is a research methodology? A research methodology explains the collection and analysis of data in a study. A methodology can be of many research designs, such as qualitative, quantitative, or mixed. Under each research design, there are many research design subsets and methods like focus groups, interviews, and surveys, among others. A research method is a technique that is used to implement the plan. A research methodology serves the following purpose, enables the readers to analyze the reliability and validity of a research, evaluates the topic's information, determines the answers or solutions by taking advantage of scientific approaches. Some quick tips you should be aware of are, use past tense when writing the methodology section. Your school or instructor may sometimes specify the guidelines of your research. Methodology. One standard guideline is formatting. You may be told to use MLA, APA, Harvard, or another formatting style. What are the steps for writing a research methodology? Below is the step-by-step -step guide for how to write a research methodology. 1. Highlight your methodological plan. 2. Explain the data collection techniques. 3. Discuss data analysis strategies. 4. Describe reasons for all your methodological choices. 1. Highlight your methodological plan. The first item you discuss in your research methodology is the problem or research question. A problem is the subject you are trying to understand. It can be an area of concern, a complication that needs to be removed, a situation to be improved, or a troubling question found in theory, literature, or practice that needs more understanding and deliberate examination. It is good to remember that the problem is profoundly discussed in the introduction and literature review sections. You will only briefly discuss it in the methodology. Specifically, you will show how the problem connects with the methodology. You need to answer the following questions after identifying the problem. 1. Will you use qualitative, quantitative, or mixed design? 2. Which method will you use to solve your problem or answer the research questions? 3. Will you use standard methodology approaches? 4. How will you handle validity and reliability aspects? 5. What are the important ethical considerations to consider? 6. Will you do the methodology yourself, or will you seek help? Who will assist you? 2. Explain the data collection techniques. In the first step, you touched lightly, maybe a paragraph or two, on the methodological approaches and techniques. In this step and the following one, you will go into details, specifically, in this section, step 2, you should mention the design and techniques you will use to collect data. Below we will list some of the most common designs, their techniques, and the details you should touch on. Qualitative design. The qualitative design allows researchers to collect subjective data, people's feelings, motivations, and behaviors. Mention the following when you are explaining this design, the criteria you use to pick the data, the role you played when collecting the data. The context for performing the research, some common data collection techniques under qualitative design are focus groups, interviews, and observation. You should highlight the following details when discussing these techniques. 1. Observation. Observation is a data collection technique where researchers watch physical characteristics, events, or people's behavior in their natural settings. One common form of observation is ethnography. The details to look at in this technique are how, when, and where did you do the observation, what did you use for data recording, how much time did you use in the research, which group or setting did you study. And which strategies did you use to get access? 2. Focus groups and interviews. Focus groups and interviews share a fundamental similarity, both involve questioning the participants. The questionnaires may be structured, semi-structured, or unstructured. Highlight the following details when you are dealing with these two techniques. How did you locate and choose the participants? Which question structure did you use and how were they divided? How many participants were involved? How much time did the questioning take? Which strategies were used in recording the data? Quantitative design. The quantitative design deals with the collection and analysis of numerical data. In this design, researchers are supposed to explain the operational concepts, variables, tools, and sampling methods they have used profoundly. The most popular techniques under quantitative design are surveys and experiments. 1. Experiments. Scientific experiments are studies that are conducted by manipulating a variable. There are three types of experiments, true experimental, quasi-experimental, and non-experimental. 
Remember to discuss the following details when writing an experimental methodology, how to design the experiments, the procedures and tools used, how to measure the variables. 2. Surveys. Surveys are techniques for collecting all kinds of data. Surveys can be administered through telephone calls, texts, social media, or paperwork. Answer the following questions when you discuss surveys in the methodology. Which strategies did you use to design the questionnaire? What was the sampling size and method? How did you perform the survey? 3. Mixed research design. Mixed research design combines both quantitative and qualitative designs. In some cases, using one of the designs is not enough to work on your problem, and combining may be the best approach. 3. Discuss data analysis strategies. In this step, you will show your readers that you have done data analysis. You will discuss the techniques you have used to evaluate your data. You should not present your findings in this section. Findings are discussed in the results section, which is the section that comes after the research methodology section. Let's look at what to include in each of the designs. A. Qualitative research. Some of the techniques you can use to analyze qualitative data are thematic. The data is examined for patterns, which are also called themes. Content. Data is categorized by the meaning of phrases and words. Discourse. Data is analyzed according to its communication in the social context. Example of a thematic analysis. Thematic analysis was done after the survey. The data was first coded, then five themes were defined. The themes represent the participants' behavior and attitude towards the emergence of the Russian-Ukraine war. B. Quantitative research. If you are doing quantitative research, your analysis should revolve around the numbers. This form of analysis is referred to as statistical analysis. Include the elements below in case it is quantitative research. How did you prepare your data for the analysis? Which software did you use to perform the statistical analysis? Example of quantitative analysis, we used Stata v16 to analyze the data. First, we had to summarize the key responses and characteristics of the respondents on COVID-19 effects. The summary involved putting the data in interquartile ranges, medians, frequency percent, and raw counts. 4. Describe reasons for all your methodological choices. This section in your research methodology should deeply explain why you chose the designs, techniques, and approaches for the methodology. This is mainly important when you use methods that are not standard. When arguing out your points, make sure to mention why you did not use the other methods. If one of your strategies is new or not standard, show how it has contributed to new understanding and knowledge. You also need to explain how your results are reliable and valid. Another aspect you can discuss in this section is the limitations of your approaches. Remember to justify how the strengths outweighed the limitations when talking about limitations. 5. State the ethical considerations. You may state the ethical considerations that are linked to your research methodology. You may introduce a subheading for it, or you may mention it in the other sections of the research methodology. Some of the items you can touch on concerning ethical considerations are 1. Consent of the participants. 2. Privacy and confidentiality of the participants. 3. Participant selection. Was it voluntary? Was a token used? 4. The impact of data interpretation and analysis on the participants. 5. Maintenance of objectivity. Overall, these are the five key steps you can take when writing a research methodology. You can hire us if you need someone to help you write an appealing research methodology.